Right. We mentioned there in the introduction that when it comes to uh, the work that you're doing on the latest variant, the Omicron variant, there is still some work to do. Can you share with us uh, any update on the efficacy of your treatment when it comes to combating the effects of the variants, uh, the, the different strains that we're seeing? Sure. Actually, we just announced that we, um, we received the results from a, a number of independent labs showing that our antibodies remain active against the Omicron uh, variant. So we are very excited about this. And this, approved, this proves that our um, combination strategy is a good one because from the beginning, we decided that using one single agent, one antibody will be in high risk if the, the, the virus develops into multiple uh, mutations. And, but with two uh, complementary antibodies, um, we, we see that our antibodies remain active against all the variants of concern. So we are very happy to see that. And we believe that it will be important uh, to, to fight Omicron and all the future variants. We know that uh, in particular parts of the world, there has been a lot of vaccine hesitancy. Uh, now, I know that your treatment uh, uh, is uh, not for a preventative vaccine measure, so to speak. Uh, but how do you combat these kind of uh, thoughts out there within the community when it comes to vaccine hesitancy and people uh, perhaps not wanting to get COVID treatments? Is that something that you've struggled with trying to convince people as to the benefits of some kind of medicinal treatment? Sure, I think people need to be need to understand the science better. I think you know using the vaccine and the, the antibody treatment uh, will be good for the community, for the for the entire human being uh, to to fight against this this um, this COVID pandemic. So uh, we definitely will urge people to get vaccinated and also use the necessary treatment when they get get infected.